hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper I am a full-time reseller who was a full-time nurse I quit nursing about a year ago it's been right at a year so it's my year anniversary of full-time and what I'm going to do today is show you our high dollar sales over the last month or so that sold for more than $50 so if you're looking for some high dollar items to add to your repertoire of what you're selling what you're sourcing I'm gonna show you right now. All right, so these are all my sales. Only one of them was an auction and it's actually the highest price one. Dalton is in here hanging out with me saying hello to you. So this first one is a gorgeous Murano Bulacante bowl that sold in a day. This is a vintage Murano Bulacante shallow bowl, blue gold flex, small trinket dish. It does say read because it did have a crack on the bottom that was not super noticeable. This one sold for $50 plus the buyer paid shipping. So they were $62.45 all in. I paid $10 on this one. So it was about a $35 profit. Up next is a Longa Burger Basket. I have been saying this for months since I bought a large haul. Longa Burger can sell for big money. Not all of them. You have to get the right ones. This next one was a Collector's May Series Basket. This is a Longa Burger Collector's Club May Series Miniature Daisy Basket. It was a combo set, so it had the liner, the protector, as well as a bow on the handle. This one sold for $49 plus the buyer paid shipping, so they were $64.46 all in. I paid $8 for this one, so it was about a $32 profit. Up next is a tablecloth. If you have not watched my video on linens, check it out because some linens can sell for big money and you can get them cheap. This next one I only paid $5 for. Mom, I love you. I love you too, buddy. This is a vintage lace linen tablecloth with 13 placemats. It was a 10 foot banquet. I did put crochet because it had crocheted edges and I put family. This one sold for a best offer of $49 plus the buyer paid shipping. They were $68.47 all in. Again, I only paid $5. So this one is about a $35 profit and it did take about five to six months to sell. All right, up next is a clipper ship pewter plate that sold for 50 bucks. This is a vintage pewter plate, Freeling Zen. It was Germany. It was of a Spanish Galeon. Clipper ship, I did put wall. This one sold for $51.48, as well as shipping. So they were $68.72 all in. I only paid $3 for this one, making it about a $40 profit. Up next are some items that sat in my death pile for over a year. And then they sold in under a month after I listed them. So as I always say, if it's not listed, you can't sell it. Make sure you get that stuff listed. Don't let money just sit there and pile up. We are working hard on getting our death pile listed. So this next one is a set of Candelibras. This is a vintage set of heavy candelabra silver plate, three arms, candlestick holders with stands. Did take an offer of $55 plus the buyer paid shipping. They were $74 all in. I am only a couple dollars into these, so they're about a $45 profit. This next item I got for only $3. I picked it up at a church yard sale. Church sales are one of my favorite places to go. I find amazing stuff at absolutely great prices. This is a really cool Harry Carey commemorative figure. This 
Harry Carey Chicago Cubs 2013 commemorative statue. It was an SGA bobblehead. I did put old stock. It was still in the box. Again, I only paid $3. It sold for $58.49, plus the buyer paid shipping. They were $77.11, and, and this one was about a $45 profit. Up next is another another item that sat in my death pile forever. This is a beaded purse, but it actually didn't even have the top. So it needed restoration, but the artwork on it was amazing. And it sold in two days for 65 bucks. This is a antique beaded art purse, detailed landscape, mountain scenery. I did put in caps, needs restoration, sold internationally for $64.99. I am less than $5 in. The buyer also paid shipping and they were $89.99 all in because of that international shipping charge. And this is over a $50 profit and it sold in two days. All right, up next is another international sale and it was a teacup that sold for $70 dollars this is a Jabruder winterling germany cobalt blue gold gilt porcelain dimitas cup and saucer i accepted a best offer of 70 dollars the buyer did pay 23 in shipping because they were international this cup i paid about five dollars for so it was about a 55 dollar profit it did take about eight months to sell up next is something I actually got lucky and I got three of these oil lamps at a estate buyout. So I'm less than five bucks into this. This one did take about six to seven months to sell, but the other two sold really fast. So keep your eye out for lamps like this. This one is Wolford brand. This is a vintage Wolford classic nine inch hand blown oil lamp art glass. I did have the original Wolford box. This one sold again probably about eight months and it sold for $64.98 plus the buyer paid shipping. They are $94.68 all in and this one is about a $50 profit. Up next is a really cool smoky gray vase. This one I got in an online auction. I do have videos on how to buy from online auctions. If you're ever curious, check out those videos. I talk about how I buy on them. And if you want me to look for you stuff like this in your zip code, you can join my YouTube channel membership. So I have different levels available. The sourcing one where I look by your zip code is the $9.99 level. It's $9.99 a month. We hang out twice a month, look for different members stuff to buy. Everybody gets to watch, it's really fun. So let, let me show you this really cool gray blown glass vase. This is a vintage Home Guard Perlutkin smoky gray glass. You can see I misspelled it. It has great glass instead of gray. So that was my mess up. Maybe that's why it took so long to sell. I did put Duckling Duck Lips vase. It was signed. This one sold for $75 plus the buyer paid shipping. They were $94.81 all in. I'm about $15 into this one. So it's about a $45 profit and it did take a little over a year to sell. Up next is a really, really fast selling item. So I told my members in our last sourcing live because we found some of these for one of them. This is a butter mold and these things can be really, really valuable and this sold overnight. This is a vintage kitchen tool, primitive wood, fancy hand carved flower, floral butter mold. It sold for $85 plus the buyer paid shipping. They are $96 all in. The shipping was so cheap because this sold within an hour of my house. It sold really fast overnight. I am only about $5 into this one. So it's about a $70 profit and a really, really fast sale. Up next is the first of my spearheads to sell. I bought a lot of 15 of them. This one sold for almost $100, but it is being returned, unfortunately. They said it did not fit into their collection. So frustrating, yes, but when you do free returns, there's nothing to do. 
let it come back issue a refund relist it and move on it can be it can be frustrating but it happens this is a vintage historic indian fur trade spearhead arrowhead this was from mississippi quapaw this sold for 83 dollars plus the buyer paid shipping so they were almost a hundred dollars all in 98.54 again this is getting returned so this one as of right now is not any profit up next is another item that was in my death pile it's actually in my laundry room so i bought this at a yard sale i paid ten dollars for it and it sold in under a month after it was finally listed so again if it's not listed you can't sell it right so let me show you this cool stool definitely keep an eye out for these they are great sellers this is a vintage cast iron footstool needlepoint cross stitch floral pattern from the 1950s i did accept a best offer of 75 dollars they also paid shipping they were a total of 99 dollars and eight cents and again i paid 10 making this about a 50 dollar profit up next is a glass pen this was a corning pen from the world's fair the only way i knew is i actually bought a lot of them in a display box that had information about the collection and i have sold multiple of these i had somebody offer me 50 dollars each for all of them i actually declined because i am selling quite a few at this higher price point and i am okay sitting on them and waiting to make almost double rather than moving them all really fast this is a yellow and purple 1939 world fair corning new york hand blown dip art glass fountain pen sold for 97 dollars 49 plus the buyer paid shipping they were 114 dollars 63 all in i paid about 25 dollars, so this one is about a 55 dollar profit and it did take a little over a year to sell up and next is a plate so i actually had four of these three have sold the other one sold quite a bit higher than this one so this is a plate celebrating the jewish faith keep an eye out for those religious items because a lot of them can be very very valuable just like this one this is a royal dalton celebration of jewish faith yom kippur plate i did put judaic gold trim this one sold for a best offer of a hundred dollars plus the buyer paid shipping they were 119.65 all in i paid about 20 dollars for this so it's about a 60 dollar profit and it did take about six to eight months to sell up next is another really really a really fast seller this is a play school take apart car really cool i picked it up on auction for only three dollars and it sold in under a day for seventy dollars this is a vintage 70s play school take apart wooden plastic car this one was a best offer of $70 plus they paid shipping so they were $127.51 all in I paid $3 making this about a $55 profit and it sold very very fast up next is some magazines if you do not know yet some magazines can sell for a lot of money typically in lots so i like to get them in kind of a big collection this lot of magazines sold in under a week for over a hundred dollars this is a huge lot of 18 firepower magazine i did put exotic weaponry collection custom glocks and m4s took a best offer of $117. They also paid shipping. The buyer was $143.14 all into these magazines. So almost $10 a magazine on these. I only paid about $5. So this one is about a $90 profit and they sold very, very fast. All right, we are getting higher. We are getting higher up this next one is a silver plated teapot that sold for a hundred and fifty dollars this is an antique meridian and co silver plate tea service it was made between 1850 and 1900 i did put night cameo 3d etched accepted a best offer of 150 dollars 
plus they paid shipping so they were $177.98 all in on this I only paid less than $10 so this one is about a hundred and twenty dollar profit all right we are up to our top five items that I have sold in the last month first up is a Swarovski ornament another thing if you do not know these things sell for hundreds of dollars this is a Rockefeller 2005 Swarovski large annual snowflake star ornament it was new in the box I actually got five of these off of an online auction I have two more left this one I accepted a best offer of 168.34 plus the buyer paid shipping they were 193.26 all in on this ornament it was not even vintage I did have to pay about $40 for this but it was still over a hundred dollar profit I still have two left and now I have sold three of them all right up next is an awesome item that I got in a shop Goodwill box lot sold in under two months for over $150 I didn't even pay that much for the whole lot I got jewelry I got this I got some really cool Native American dolls and this one was an authentic Navajo piece it did have certificate of authenticity and this was a great sale this is a vintage native american quiver with two hand painted arrows i did put authentic navajo again it did have certificates of authenticity for both arrows as well as the quiver so there were three certificates with this this one i accepted a best offer of 180 dollars they also paid shipping so they were 207.31 in i'll say i might have been ten dollars into this and this was close to 150 dollars profit all right up next is a really cool earring set with a necklace i actually i bought this on whatnot again if, you, if you're not buying on whatnot i think you're missing out there are some great opportunities to get amazing name brand jewelry on there for really really good prices this one i paid up for i was supporting another seller which i do love to do if you've come to my shows we raid smaller sellers i try and get the word out about smaller sellers try and help the community so this was a purchase i bought supporting the community so i'm pr about break even on this one not profit but it was it was a great great sale this is a vintage cabochon jewels of fantasy hinkle gross necklace bracelet and earring set it sold for 194.35 the buyer did pay shipping they were 217.10 and i do believe i paid 150 so again after fees there's really not much profit here and this one did sell in under a month it sold pretty fast all right these next two i'm going to show you went to the same buyer and i got i only paid five dollars a piece for these and they are second from the top highest in sale these also went international this is the first i will show you is a pair of 19th century antique famille rose these are bobblehead knotter figurine statues so i did list the two of these together and these sold together for 250 dollars great great sale on those and then the buyer also bought this single rare 19th century famille rose bobblehead knotter statue again only paid five bucks and a total of 362 dollars and 95 cents on this one as well as the pair i am 15 dollars in these are close to a 300 dollar profit now they did take about six or seven months to sell the buyer also paid shipping so these they were total in of 392.35 i only paid 15 dollars watch out for stuff like this the heads bobbled they were carved they were stuck inside of them and that was an absolutely great sale all right my highest selling item can you guess what it is if you watch my what sold videos you have already seen this and i've also been doing research on these for the last month so my highest selling item over the last month was a beautiful shriner brooch this is a vintage 1950s shriner new york 
blue crystal dome pendant or brooch opalescent this one sold for $599 plus they paid shipping they were $608.65 all in I paid $400 for this on whatnot I did get it from Dawn Sanford and Son is her name on whatnot if you'd like to check her out so this one's about a hundred and $25 profit after fees. This is the only one that did sell on auction. It only got one bid. Did start it at that $599 starting price, but I got to have this really cool Shriner brooch in my possession for a little bit. Got to support Dawn and that was the highest sale. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up button. Share with your friends if you want them to see some of these higher dollar sales. I will see you on the next one. Don't forget, come over to Whatnot and hang out with us. We are there six days a week selling jewelry, sometimes five. I I, I take off a day every now and then. So I really have fun hanging out with you guys, bringing you some really cool jewelry, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.